Do you ever get the feeling like you're stuck? Like you're not where you're supposed to be? Like you envision you'd probably be further in life or in this industry or in your position, whatever moment that you find yourself in, if you've ever found yourself where you just feel like you're going backwards or you're, you're spinning your wheels, meaning like you're, you're making a lot of movements, but it doesn't seem like you're getting any closer than you were the day before, the month before, the year before. If that's ever happened to you, I wanna let you in on a little secret that I learned from my mentor that's really gonna help you take steps forward and keep moving forward rather than feel like you're stagnant and stuck in the center. Let me show you everything I know. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel, and I'm your host. And in this episode, we're going to talk about one simple method that you can use every single day, every single day, to ensure that you're never going backward, to, to, to ensure that you do not feel like you're stuck. And I can give you, you know, step-by-step -step sequences, but what I want to do <clears throat> in this video is at least share with you the principle. And so I believe that if you understood the principle, it's kind of like a wheel, right? Like you understand how a wheel works, right? Like I'm, I don't got to explain to you the gravitational pull <laughs> or the momentum needed. I could just say, hey, a, a wheel is circular and it's going to spin or it's just going to lay down. Like you get the point. And uh, the reason why I, I want to explain the principle of this is because ultimately it will be kind of like your reference point. It will be your gauge, if you will. And so this gauge has three levels and we all have this gauge. Every single one of us, you, me, him, her, them, all of them, we all have this gauge. And <clears throat> this gauge is basically broken down into three simple key levels. You got you got current, current day, meaning today, and then you got the past, which is down here, and then you got the future, which is up here, okay? So just envision that as a gauge. It's kind of like, uh, you know, like a, like your gas tank, right? It goes up, up, down, or, you know, sometimes you're, you're empty, and then, then you're going back in the past. And the reason why I put current moment or current date, like current time, right in the middle is because that ultimately is your neutral, right? That is that is kind of like your crossroads and you're always in between the future and your and the past always right it makes sense do you get it and so when you understand that principle you'll basically unlock the primary reason why you believe that you're not moving anywhere and why you believe that you may be kind of spinning your wheels and then you get impatient and then ultimately stop what you're doing and thus not move forward. And I'm not saying that you're giving up or you're throwing in the white towel. What I'm saying is that this little this little gauge or understanding of the gauge and how it works will be your mental hack to to literally, you know, keep yourself motivated because again that is one of the most common questions that I get is, "Hey Daniel, how do I stay motivated?" Well, I believe the reason why that's such a common question is because we all find ourselves in current time where we, of course, we want to raise up. We want to go into a positive future, right? A spotlight shining. And so constantly we find ourselves at this neutral crossroad, which is current day, because this is now, and we're trying to raise our level as we proceed to the future. Get it? But the problem is, though, sometimes is when we don't know what is ahead in the future, all we have to reference is our past because we don't. Right. And so and so when we reference our past, technically, we're going back down. That makes sense. And it's not your fault if you reference your past. We all reference our past. You know, you hear a lot of uh, influencers say, hey, don't ever, you know, look at your past. And then you see another uh, set of influencers say, hey, you can't, you know, you can't forget what you came from. And so I think there's kind of a mixed message. And so this is why understanding the principle is really going to help you regardless of what of which quote or which meme you <laughs> you agree with. But here's the reason why I'm saying this is because over the last week and a half, um, I would say a couple weeks, you know, I've, I've, I've had to shift my focus, right? And, and ultimately, you know, going through kind of a, a streak of, of movements, even the best of us will sometimes feel that we're just not getting any progress. And so let me explain. Over the last week and a half, you know, I've been doing my thing and I've been selling and, and originating and trying to lead the team. <clears throat> 
but I went through a bad streak, just bad streak of sales. Like, uh, like I was, I was mounting it up and I, and I was closing them. But for whatever reason, you know, I had clients going dark. I had clients that, that, you know, said, yeah, let's do this. Got the paperwork in and, uh, and, you know, and then just went ghost or changed their mind or something happened. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I felt like I was, I was going backwards because look, I mean, shit, I, I, you know, I'm very proud of how good I am in what I do and I do it well. Right. But at the end of the day, when you see signs that contradict that belief, then you're naturally going to feel like you're messing up. And so you, you know, I don't want to say panic, but you quickly assess what you're doing wrong. And what happens is even though when you assess your, your current state or your current process and you don't know what's going wrong and it just, and something keeps going wrong, we tend to look inward, right? And so then we blame ourselves. And this is happening not just in business, but just in regular life. And so, and so why I bring this up is because I've, I was not only paying attention to what I was going through because I knew it was so common, but I had to go through it. And so like, does that make sense? So, I, you know, for those of you who've been watching the channel, you know I'm the sole income. You know that, that, and I don't mind being the sole income. I love it. I love being able to provide, right? But at the end of the day, you have to make sure that momentum continues going. Like there's no choice. And so, and so I, if you have a system in place and that system has been running uh, flawlessly, right? Like it's just, it's just an engine on its own. And then the engine stops, right? And then, uh, and, and then other things call your attention to where you can't necessarily spend the full amount of time in analyzing that engine. You're going to break apart that engine. You're going to, you know, you're going to break apart the process and try and find problems. You see, what, what, see the issue is though, and the reason why I bring up you know, current time, past, and then future, is because in the current state, when you're, when you're striving to move forward or move up to the future, and something goes wrong or something seems off, what happens is these, these instances or these situations trigger our past because we don't have anything else to reference besides our past, right? It's kind of like, uh, you know, when you hear a song and, uh, and that song brings you back in the day, like, oh man, I remember when I heard this song, bro, I was this age, that ever happened to you? It's because a song or even a smell, a song or smell can, 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 literally trigger your senses in a way that brings you back to the past and it's because you're referencing it it's like you remember things something happened that day or or you felt some sort of kind of way that brought you back to that past well the same thing happens in in other things so if you see visually people panic right like you you will immediately go back to another time where you felt like you've seen somebody panic or you felt panic um, on in the opposite effect if you see people dancing and, and, and excited and celebrating it's going to remind you of other instances that when people were in that type of energy level anyway I don't want to get too Confucius on you the bottom line is that everyone all of us we all have this gauge and this gauge will always be neutral will always be neutral because we're in current time and 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 dependent on our ability to not stay in the past will determine whether or not we're going to stay down. That makes sense? And so if we're constantly going down, meaning we're going to our past and referencing you know, um, uh, certain things within our past, because you can look in your past for good things, right? Like you can go down sometimes in order to pay attention to the positive things. And so what, sometimes you, we have to, we just need to, but, but I'll give you an example. So like we can reference our past for the good things, like look at all that I've overcome thus far. You know, look how I was 10 years ago. You know, look at look at my current state now and, and remember when I didn't have the things that I have now. And that, you know, that's a, it's a way to express gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most healthy things that you can do mentally and physically. It's just for your soul, that's good. And so that's probably the only time that you should really look in the past is just to express gratitude. Just know where you came from and know what you've overcome. Know the challenges that you've survived, right? And then and then use that as motivation to catapult yourself forward, kind of boost yourself up to the top level. But see, what happens though is that when we are in our current state, right, our current time, this is our neutral level, this is even balance, and we're, we're trying to move up to a positive future, and our past keeps pulling us back, 
it is our it is our instinct to reference and envision things from the past. So it could be you know where you believed you were going to be at this time. So other words, in other words, like you could reference your past and remember like, oh man, that person did crazy good and they didn't even really have to try, right? So you're referencing your past for, for let's say pieces of motivation. Like you found someone who said, oh man, you know, if this guy could do it, I'm gonna do it, man. Fuck that, I'm gonna do it. And so you put your all, all your heart in, all your work in, all your time in, right? And and you believe that that, that shining, image of that person in your in, in that you're referencing to or who motivated you um, you know that they that their success it is not attainable to you because you know like you've been doing it and you've been trying to do it but you're just not getting that same success you're not getting that same reward that you see and I want you to understand that when you see something it doesn't necessarily mean that you that you uh, you know that it's the truth right you can't always believe what you see and, and it, it, it still rings true to the simple fact that we sometimes can't move forward and we feel stuck in our current state because of things that are haunting us from our past. And so let, let's say, for example, that a year ago, you know, you, your goal was to get to X amount of income or X amount of sales or, or to be in X position, right? And let's say nine months has elapsed or 12 months and you're looking back like, man, I'm still not where I envision to be in my past. And so what happens is your past is just simply entrapping you. It's keeping you back <laughs> because you're only looking to the past for the negative signs, right? You're only looking in the past for fear because, or, or, or you're using your past as the gauge rather than, rather than using current day as your gauge. And so in order to not stay stuck in the past, you need to unlock yourself and just pay attention to the current time, current moment, be in neutral. Because if you're in neutral, then what happens is you, you're, you're actually grateful for what you have right now, but more importantly, you're, you're aware of what you have right now. You ever get to a point where you're just so focused on the future that you forget to appreciate what you have right now? Like, have you ever been so focused on one thing, you unfocus on everything else that matters? Like, you work so hard for this one thing because of this one thing, right? Like, you work so hard to get your income level or, or into a zip code because you want your family there. But then you focus on working so hard, you actually ignore your family, <laughs> Right. And so but we will justify it through logic. We'll say, well, that sacrifice was worth it because, you know, now I get to give my family those very things. But it doesn't make sense if you can give those family your, your family those things if they don't even have you. <laughs> Does that make sense? So so although it, 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 it's good and it makes sense. Right. It's logical in the heat of the moment. It is that's that's really the judgment time. Right. Like that's going to be your your how can I put it your time to actually execute and it's very hard to execute like in the heat of the moment right it's just like it is to to hold back your aggression when you're mad and so and so sometimes you could pop off with a wisecrack remark or sometimes you could you know say something that was that was uh, antagonizing towards your prospect or even yourself and and it's just because of the heat of the moment like you didn't mean it right have you ever went back on it so like, hey man i'm sorry i said that hey i didn't mean it because you cooled down and what and that is probably the only bad time you know that where you could live in the moment <laughs> is because like you're just you're just focused in your moment you're not necessarily focused on the future or the repercussions of what you're doing in your current state in your current moment and so I want, I want, I hope that this made sense and that this helps you, you know, use those three levels as your gauge, use the, understand the, how those three levels affect you today and know that in order to continue striving for the future, you have to only live literally in the current state and future. Make sense? So, so if you understand again, it goes, it goes future, current, and then past. Always remember that future, current, past future current past because what happens is just like a gas gauge you always want to be filling up make sense you always want to be aiming towards the future because what happens is when you start going below that 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 middle line it's a it's a sign and let that be your sign kind of like oh man i need gas right or oh i'm almost out of gas you always have to check your meter always check your gauge and be like yo man i've been i've been running on empty or below my halfway mark for a minute now 
And all you have to do, boo-boo, is fill up that tank. And so then you might be like, yo, D, how do you fill up that tank? Simple. You follow at Sales Remastered. Check out the Breakfast of Champions episodes. You know, look through the plethora of videos. Find a topic or a, a, a title that really pops out and rings out to you. And, and enjoy the ride. You know what I mean? Like, whether it's from here or another channel, find something that influences you to be better, that, fo that enables you to focus on the future. And remember, just like all the things you went through in the past, that will pass. At some point in time, your current state is going to be your future. And at some point in time, your future is going to be your past. That makes sense? But right now, we're in current time, current state. You're right in the middle. And so now it's your choice whether you're going to deplete it or you're going to fill it up. Right, And in order to fill it up, again, find something that pushes you. Find your purpose. Check out yesterday's video. I'll leave a link in the notes and maybe a tag if I can ever figure that part out. And uh, you can look back at, at the three things on how to really keep you motivated. I hope this video helps. If, you, if it made sense or if you like this video, timestamp the, the area in this video that, you, that really resonates with you. And leave a comment. Let me know, you know what you took away from it. And more importantly, subscribe hit that bell, and share this with somebody who needs to see it. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Well,